When you first looked at this assessment, you might have wondered, how come it asks students for the play's date? That's so obvious. In fact, in earlier versions, we didn't ask for the date. We quickly learned that many students completely ignored it. But how can students think about historical context without first focusing on when something was written? By asking students to actually write down the date, we hoped to jumpstart their thinking about the context of the 1930s. Students often need these kinds of supports to engage in historical analysis. Supports like this are known as instructional scaffolding. Like the scaffolding used in construction, instructional scaffolds help students reach intellectual heights they couldn't attain otherwise. When these forms of assistance are no longer needed, we dismantle them, just as we take down scaffolding when a building is complete. Until then, instructional scaffolding focuses students' attention on crucial aspects of historical interpretation. The sentence starters in question two are also scaffolds. They give students a clear structure to use in forming a response. These sentence starters give struggling students a needed boost. Our assessments offer different levels of scaffolding. When you use them in your classroom, you'll want to add or remove scaffolding depending on your student's skills. If students are struggling with vocabulary in a source, you may want to add a word bank. When your students become good at placing documents into context, questions that make them write down the date will be unnecessary. Scaffolding allows us to assist students whose analysis skills are still developing. By providing different levels of scaffolding, we help all students build sophisticated ways of thinking about the past.